Functional blocks are predefined collections of interconnected gates that we can use to build complex circuits. Technology mapping is when a logic diagram or netlist is transformed into a new diagram or netlist using the available technology components. NAND and NOR are functionally complete, so we can implement any Boolean function using them. They are also smaller and faster than AND and OR gates, so we often use these for our implementations. NAND technology consists of a collection of cell types, each of which includes a NAND gate with a fixed number of inputs. A convenient way to implement a Boolean function with NAND gates is to begin with the optimized logic diagram of the circuit that uses the AND OR NOT. We can then convert the function by converting the logic diagram to NAND gates and inverters. Again, we start with the optimized diagram that consists of the AND, OR, and NOT gates, and then we replace each AND and OR gate with its equivalent circuit in NAND form, as you can see on this figure. We then cancel all the inverter pairs. This is the equivalent of a double negative in English. Without changing the logic function, we push all inverters line between either a circuit input or a driving NAND gate, and the driven NAND gate inputs towards the driven NAND gate inputs. Cancel all pairs of inverters in the series whenever possible during this step. We replace inverters in parallel with a single inverter that drives all the outputs of the parallel inverters. Repeat this until there is at most one inverter between the circuit input or driving NAND gate output and the attached NAND gate inputs. Remember to cancel all pairs of inverters. That previous discussion about pushing inverters may have been a bit confusing, so let's take a look at an example to clarify things a bit. We'll cover example 3.2 on page 120 of the text. Consider the equation for the function f over on the right. We can use our knowledge from the previous chapter to implement this directly with and, or, and not gates. I know that not gates are called inverters, but I'd like to keep things to parallel structure in English. Now we replace each AND and OR gate with its equivalent NAND gate and inverters. We label all the components that have dots on them in the preparation for our next step. Here we can see a couple double negatives in the form of 1, 2, AND, 3, 4. So we can just cancel those out. Now let's look at pushing the inverters. Inverter 5 gets pushed through X and cancels inverter 6 and 7. Sadly, we can't pair A9, so we're pretty much done. This is the resulting circuit of all that work. The gate input cost is 12. We can also implement the same circuit with NOR gates using a similar process. Again, we start with the equation and its basic implementation using the AND, OR, and NOT gates. As before, we begin by converting to NOR gates and inverters. We put labels on the dots in the inverters to assist us in the next step. We can cancel the double inverters on line D. Inverter 1 can be pushed through dot X to cancel inverters 2 and 3 respectively. We need to keep the single inverters on A, B, C, and F. So here the cost is 14, so the NAND implementation at a cost of 12 is less costly. The NOR implementation also has more gates in a row, so the NAND gate implementation has a shorter delay. Whether you go with NAND or NOR depends a lot on the initial form. Some of product's form is more natural for NAND implementations, while the product of sums is more natural for NOR implementation. Thanks again for watching. It's good to go back and take a look at example 3.2 on page 120 of the text and uh, spend a bit more time covering that one in detail so that you can get a little bit of practice with the procedure.